Tonight, the Gemini meteor shower peaks. Meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner explains what we need to know about this amazing event. Elizabeth. Yeah, we're happy to have NASA Ambassador Tony Rice with us. I want to call you a meteorologist. I mean, you're close to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, great to have you on again. Um, the Gemini meteor shower is one of the best that we see all year. So we have, you know, on the calendar, a list of different meteor showers all year. And this is the last one. And it's one that people really look forward to. Tell us about uh, this year's Geminids and what are we looking at? So yeah, this is the one that we usually have circled on our calendars, but unfortunately this year it's not going to be great. It doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to see some meteors. I got some ideas on how you can maximize that, but this year it's happening really close to the full moon. So it's kind of a natural light pollution that we're going to see in the sky. And I ran some of the numbers, about 75% of the meteors tonight are going to be hidden by that full moon, the bright moonlight in the sky. So the best advice tonight is going to be to look as soon as it gets dark. Well, we're expecting it to peak shortly after sunset and through about um, midnight. We're going to be seeing some clouds, and I think you've got some information on that. And again, the moonlight's going to be getting in the way, but an even better time to look at it, if you don't mind getting up a little bit early, is going to be in the hours right before sunrise. That's when the Earth is turning into that stream of debris that the meteor is leaving behind. Uh, and it's actually the leavings of a dead comet, a comet Phaethon that comes through about once a year. Uh, so again, as the Earth is turning into that, we'll see a lot more meteors. So that hour or so before sunrise is a great time to see them. And you know, it's, it's the brightness of what's around you or what's in the sky that always makes it so difficult, especially around here. You know, it's hard to find a dark enough spot. But as you were just saying, you know, the Geminids is one of the meteor showers that's on the list because of the rotation of the Earth and how we interact with the tails of those comets. And they just come right, you know, at, at the same time every year, which is kind of neat. We can plan around them. Um, so tell us, you know, again, you said what time. Is there a particular spot that you like to go to that's darker than others? Darkness is really the key here. The darker this, the spot is, the more that you're going to see. Uh, they're called the Geminids because they appear to be coming from the constellation Gemini. But that doesn't mean that you need to look there. The best advice is look wherever you happen to be, look to the darkest part of the sky and definitely give yourself some time for your eyes to adjust. 10, 15 minutes outside, you'll be amazed at how much more you can see. Thank you, Tony. We always appreciate you being here. It's Thanks always fun me. to hear about all the exciting things that are happening, you know, up in space and especially meteors. People love seeing those. <laughs> uh, so we'll uh, uh, take a, uh, again, th thank you very much for, for being here. And we'll